Guys, welcome back to the farm. Today I want to share with you guys uh, the crate of hand saws that are out of this uh, toolbox that belonged to my great-grandfather. And as you can see, there are a ton of saws in here uh, in all kinds of varieties. So we've got just traditional cross-cut saws. Um, we have some rip saws that are in here. Uh, we have some keyhole saws that are tucked in the back and some kind of miscellaneous, uh, there's a nail saw in here, there's the keyhole saw. And the majority of these are distance saws. It was said at one time that Henry Distance Company made 75% of all hand saws produced in the United States. And I really believe that just based on what we find in this box. But the tool that I wanna share with you guys today is this Distant number 42 saw. And it stands out amongst all these other saws um, in a lot of different ways. It has an applewood handle. Uh, you see a lot of the brass fittings on here. It has a scribe in the handle. Um, and it actually has a, and I don't know if you'll see this, uh, it has a ruler along the back of the saw. Now, this saw is a little different from all the other saws in this box. And the reason why is this saw was owned by August Waymuller, who was a relative of my great-great-grandfather's. And August Waymuller worked for a furniture and undertaking company in Washington, Missouri. So this saw was probably used in the furniture trade, and it's probably why it's a little more ornate than the other saws we see in this box. The interesting thing about this saw is it's what's known as a combination saw. And this saw then, serves more than one purpose. And as you can see, if we line up the handle or this, this brass piece on the edge of a wood, it will give us a perfect 90 degree angle and we can take the scribe out of the back and we are now ready to cut. Now the interesting thing about Henry Distant and the Distant Saw Works, besides some of his interesting combination saw ideas, um, and you could also get a, a Distant number 43, which would have actually had a level in the handle. These guys were just trying to essentially uh, improve on the wheel or improve on what a basic cool tool could do. The interesting about, thing about all these saws is that they were made by the Distant Saw Works, like we said. And the Distance Saw Works, Henry Dis Distance specifically, had this idea when he started his saw works um, that the company should be involved in the life of its workers and the company should provide for the workers. Uh, kind of this paternalistic view of how the company would interact. He provided housing to his workers. He would sell lots and he had purchased a 390 acre uh, tract of land next to his saw works. And this was all going on late 1800s, early 1900s, and he would provide them a house. Uh, they could buy a lot from him and build their own house. It's said that Henry Distance Banks never foreclosed on any of his employees' properties. Within that same community, uh, he provided land for churches, he provided parks, um, he provided access to doctors and goods for the family. And this worked really good. The people that made these saws at the turn of the century really appreciated working for Henry Distant. And this worked really well for them up until the almost the 30s um, when there started to be some labor issues and it was all kind of downhill from there. But very interesting to think about the people that made these saws. Of course, at the time that these saws were out, if you were gonna own one of these saws, you probably needed a way to keep it sharp. So you would need a saw vise. And here in the tool chest, we have several saw vices um, of all different varieties and flavors. And of course, if you're gonna have a saw vise, you're probably gonna have to have uh, some saw sets to help set the teeth on your saws some more saw vices. Um, the only thing that this toolbox is really lacking is the saw files, which I'm sure were in here at one time that just disappeared over time. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe below to stay up to date with everything that's going on at the farm.